Several of you out there have asked me to do more with ChatGTP in regards to development, but with so many coding videos already available, I decided to go in a different direction with this video. It's the start of the year, you see, and many may be job hunting, so I figured let's test ChatGTP's ability to perform those dreaded Unity job interview tests on us. Now, I've created and given my fair share of these tests, so I'm interested to see what the AI can do, and you should stay to the end to see how you would perform on the more advanced questions it drops on us. Let's start with the prompt structure. I found during my testing that writing a prompt such as, give me an interview question for a Unity programming job at a beginner level, worked as much as it would give me a relevant question, but it would also give me the answer, and sometimes what it was looking to test in the candidate. Now, if I was the interviewer, this would be most helpful, but as the interviewee, I want to test my knowledge and not my power to read. So we need to phrase our prompts differently. Here I changed it to ask, give me an interview question for a Unity programming job at a beginner level, but then I added, but do not provide the answer until I ask for it. And as you can see, this had the desired result. Now you can work with answering ChatGPT questions in two ways. You can either type in your answer and ask if it's correct, or just ask for the answer without typing anything at all. And I'll go into what I think about both options a little later. As you can see here, I typed in an answer and it agreed that it was the correct one, and then went on to give me some details. Now, this is good for several reasons. Number one, it goes more into depth, which should hopefully increase your understanding of the answer and not just have you spit out something verbatim of a tutorial that you've read. And two, I got it right. So I get to keep my job under my company as firing myself. Well, that's a bit of a pain. Now, in an interview, I would expect a candidate to elaborate on an answer and maybe even tweak the answers they give according to a piece of stretch criteria I give them on the fly. Now, this enables me to assess their knowledge, but also, and more importantly, their process of reasoning and creative thinking. It's something I hold in high regards with all the teams I create. Before we continue though, I want to give a word of warning about using ChatGPT in this way. It might not have all the answers, and the answers it does give you may not be up to date or even completely correct. It sometimes comes down to how it does its interpretation of your question. Now, do not make this your only source of testing prep. Do your research around the answers and absolutely try them in the engine and see how everything fits together. Practice makes perfect after all. For instance, if we look at this last answer, it used the old default input system and not the new one. If you interviewed with me, I would expect you to know how the new system worked as well. It also doesn't tell you to like and subscribe this channel. And we all know that's the right thing to do. And if you're getting something out of these videos, let me know in the comments and consider joining as a member with the new join button. Now on with the testing, and we're gonna move on to the intermediate level questions. And again, the prompt is just as before, but I've swapped in the intermediate level wording. So here we can see a question that I would consider an intermediate level question. It's asking the candidate about their knowledge of Unity, but at a system level, rather than a more straightforward single script or function solution. It's pushing those creative juices, not just asking them to recall from memory. Now, I replied with a solution based on Unity's own navigation system, which has a fair number of haters out there, but it's still a valid solution to the problem. And it's nice to see that the answer included alternatives, something I would inquire on as a follow-up to the answer given if it was just the Unity navigation system. It's worth pointing out at this point that it's your choice as to whether you write out the answers. ChatGPT, while I was making this video, did a good job of assessing whether my answers were correct, but I do think it boils down to whether or not you can keep yourself honest. If you just think the answers, or better yet, say them out loud and don't quite get the answer you expected back, but you think to yourself, well, that's kind of what I meant, or well, my way is valid also, then you might be doing yourself an injustice. If you can keep yourself honest though, well, then you can get through a lot more questions if you don't have to type out all the answers every time. It's absolutely down to your personal preference. Before the advanced section, I have a bit of homework for you. After you've finished this video, go into ChatGPT and try this out for yourself. And let me know in the comments how you got on with the questions. So how does it do with the more advanced questions? 
Well, as you can see at this point, the systems have become more complex and might span more than one of Unity's systems to talk about. I was happy to see a question I have in all my tests pop up, which is around optimization in Unity. I expect all my candidates to have at least a basic understanding of how to optimize scenes and even their code. It is a good gauge of experience as well, because most seasoned developers have had to ship a game and had to deal with the sessions of looking at the frame rate and scratching their heads wondering what's going wrong. So overall, how do I rate this aspect of ChatGPT? Well, pretty good actually, and better than in the video where I asked it to code tools for me. The questions were very reminiscent of the ones I asked candidates, and the fact that those answers contain knowledge around the content is an absolute bonus. You can also ask for more information on the answer as well, which is a benefit to this conversational system. As stated, it's not the only source you should be using, but it's definitely one I think you can slightly lean on. Just make sure to qualify those answers. And also to watch this other video on screen to relay it to that interviewer and impress them with your advanced knowledge.